I've wanted to add a Mini Cooper to my Cars diecast collection for a few years now, and while Austin Littleton is a Mini Cooper, he's not really the type of Mini Cooper I think of when I think of that type of car. Becky Whelan, however, is. Mini Coopers have a very unique and distinct design style, and it's so cool to see them translated into Cars diecast form. But, who is Becky Whelan? Well, that's a very good question, because I had no idea who she was before I got this car for my birthday. Of course, I knew of the diecast, but she's just one of several really, really obscure Cars 2 characters that were released strangely early on in the Cars 2 line and never re-released. In Becky's case, she was a chase. That's why she's never been re-released. They can't re-release her. That's the chase rule, of course. There were so many chases in the Cars 2 line. But where does Becky appear in the movie? Well, I always assumed she appeared in England, where the other Mini Coopers do. Of course, Mini Coopers are a car from the UK, but, uh, no, she appears in the airport, taking up about this much space on the screen. She is so obscure, it's not even funny. But hey, she got a diecast before Rip Clutch Gonski. Like, even in the original plan, even before he was cancelled and pushed back to 2013, Rip was going to be number 34 on the line, which means Becky Whelan always took priority over Rip Clutch Gonski. Just let that sink in. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Becky Whelan, number 33 in the 2011 to 2012 Cars 2 line. So, let's get started. Of course, she is a chase. Very nice artwork there. Uh, honestly, I prefer her color scheme in the artwork to that of the diecast. You can see she's supposed to have sort of a shiny, sparkly design here. Um, but, I don't know. It's a bit too dark on the actual diecast, in my opinion. On the back, we've got Collect Them All. Miguel Camino, Victor Hugo, Don Crumlin, Radiator Springs Ramon, Officer Murakami, and Becky Whelan. Officer Murakami is the only one here that I don't have. Becky has some very interesting uh, prototype art. Definitely a whole lot worse looking than the final diecast. You could even make out the high plate and the mouth plate. By the way, guys, Becky is the final car from my birthday haul this year. We finished it before June. Last year, I wanna say we started in like the last week of May because I had a lot of other videos I was making and just never got around to it for whatever reason. But I'm so proud to be done with the birthday haul uh, before the end of the month that I was born in. Anyway, here is Becky out of the package and she looks so great, that's awesome. And I love these background characters, but uh, just for scale, you can see her against Jared Ledfoot. Definitely a bit bigger than I thought, but uh, definitely to scale with an actual Mini Cooper. I think I saw a Mini Cooper while, like, going to school the other day. That's why I've sort of had, like, Mini Coopers on my mind. I had to review one. I just saw one parked the other day and started thinking, like, what student at my school would drive a Mini Cooper? That's a very interesting choice. Whoever you are, I, I respect that. They're, they're a cool type of car. I like Mini Coopers. Uh, Becky here, pretty generic expression. Mouth is open a little bit. Looks like there's a little bit of paintwork inside the mouth. We've got the logo there. We've got her grill, one of the uh, female Cars characters with a grill. We have this whole checkerboard pattern going on on the roof. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Is that intentional? Is that like, ooh, that doesn't feel intentional. Oh, that's a shame. Wait, yeah, that's that's definitely a dent in the paint. That's really unfortunate. Oh, man. She's got this cool checkerboard pattern going on. At least from a distance, you can't really... No, you can still see it. All right, well, it's not that bad. At least from the front, you can't really see it, although there is a mark here. That's that's unfortunate. But hey, what are you going to do? That's what it looked like in the package, and I uh, it was ordered online, of course, since she's not being sold in stores anymore because it's no longer 2012. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, we have those really cool checkerboarded rear view mirrors, of course, um, sharing a design with the roof there. Moving on to the back, her license plate reads 07-29, as well as some Japanese characters. She did appear in the Tokyo airport, so I guess she is a resident of Tokyo. Very interesting. Like when they add little bits to the characters like that. Again, I always assumed she was supposed to be uh, from England, but it's cool to see that they had her be from Tokyo. She'll be going in my airport section in my collection. Yes, I have a designated airport section. It has, like, three cars, like Uchi, Ruka, and Alex Vandel. But now, it'll have four, because now it'll have Becky. Mm-hmm. We've got the gas cap over there on, on, on both sides, it seems. Okay. And there is a look at the base. 
Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I, I don't know when my next review will be. I, I honestly have no clue. Hopefully, I find some new 2022 stuff soon. Hopefully, some on-the-road cars uh, start releasing soon. I'm probably going to order some cars online uh, pretty soon as well. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.